Mmm, yes, the audio is too loud. Yay. Um, fuck me. No! Oh god, why is there so Welcome many noises? Welcome back, Wazy. Please stop. Hi, good morning, everybody. Allegedly. Um, hello, everybody. Um, I'm- Oh god, no more noises, please. Oh my goodness, two years. I'm here. Oh, and I'm gone. Oh no, I'm here. Don't worry about it. I'm here. Hi, everybody, I'm here. I'm live, maybe. Hi, God, why is there noises? Me too. Fuck, what's happening? What is, I, please, I haven't even started yet. I haven't, thank you for a head pat. Okay, all right, hold, let me. Snake, do you believe that love could bloom on the bangle stop field? It. Stop it, stop it, let me catch up. I'm just, I'm just now being live. I'm just now, just now, just now Stream Elements is saying we're live, crew. Get off my dick. Just, just now. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me, let me fucking catch up, crew. Crew, sh shut up. Hello, everybody. I am horribly jet lagged. And by horribly jet lagged, I mean I have been sleeping continuously. But I miss you guys. So here we are. Um, bingo, bingo. God do, do, damn do, it. Do, 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 do. Anyway, thank you, Jade, for the for the hydrate. Okay, let's get into this. Shut up, let's get into this. Okay, hello, everybody. Uh, th thank you, Ryu, for resubscribing uh, for your 12th month. Thank you, Matt, for resubscribing for your two years. Thank you, Screech Hawk, for resubscribing for your one year. Fuck, there's a lot of year anniversaries this month. Screech Hawk, thank you for 25 bits. Jade, thank you for 500 bits. Holy fuck. Wow, guys, fucking thank you. Uh, put your art requests in, because I'm going to attempt to draw them. I don't, can't imagine they'll be good. Uh, I'm real sleepy. Um, you will give me a bingle. God damn it. Um, stop bingling. Okay, we're on a hype train. You guys should be happy. Okay. Let me go through this. Okay. <laughs> you thought it was a bingle. I'm here. But it was me. ASJ, don't Yo. bingle me. Um, okay. Hello, Naked Snake. Hello, Sour Lad. Hello, D Cruz. Hello, Radio Balls. Hello, uh, Iconic Boar. Hello, Mysterious Phoenix. Hello, Doofenshmirtz. Uh, hello, Crystal Nightmares. Hello, uh, Iconic Boar. Hello, Ryura. Uh, hello, Pite Size Kiwi. Hello, uh, Dorito Dragon. You changed your name back to Dorito Dragon. Um, fuck. Uh, hello, Thank you. Screechock. Please bingle again. Uh, fucking hello, Jacob. Uh, I'm behind. Hello, Pinecone. Uh, Hello, someone new. Hello. Uh, I think that's everybody. Yeah, yeah, is that everybody? Hello, Kakashi lover. Um, I think I said hello, D Cruz, but I'll say it again. Yeah, I think that's everybody. Anyway, thank you, SJ, for 100 bingle bagels. Thank you, Kakashi lover, for 25 bingle bagels. Hello, everybody. I'm back and barely awake. Um, I am. I am so fucked up right now. I am incredibly jet lagged, which I didn't think it was this possible for one whole man to be this whole jet lagged, but I am. I have been sleeping uh, for an uncomfortable amount of time. Also, hello, Freshest Dumbledore. Sorry, I didn't see you at the very end there. Oh, hi, Smashy. I didn't see you as well. Anyway, hello, crew. Welcome back. It's the final bingo. God damn it. Um, I'm back and barely alive, which is, which is, you know what? That's, that, that, that's pretty good for me. Uh, let's start doing your art requests. Tell me everybody, how have you been since my last endeavor into the world of streaming and being alive and in this general time zone? Um, because fuck, man, <laughs> Stop spraying me. I was a little guy. Thank thank you, um, Frostbeard, for a little head pat. Anybody who doesn't know, I'm also supposed to go meet Frostbeard in like three hours and kick his ass in a Denny's parking lot. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked because I'm so sleepy. You think you could get away with bingle bangling me on the internet? Think again, fucker. Jade, stop bingling me. I'm just waking up. I can't even read chat because my brain's not working. All right, anyway. Phoenix says, um, for you expecting, we missed you. Kakashi says, I have found out so many cursed, uh, 
manga. Reaver says, barely being alive still counts as alive. Labyrinth is here. Jacob says, I was lost without you, Wazzy. That's not true. There's other good streamers out there. Um, someone says, please, I have to ask, uh, is worm safe for people with epilepsy? I don't want to see, uh, hurt people. I think it is from everything I know. Um, the frame rate on it is low enough that it should be fine. Um, Jade's going back to work, but have fun, Jade. Don't strangle your coworkers. Kiwi says, I have come to the conclusion that I am crazy. Is Wazzy always look like this? This feels like it's new. It is new. I've been I've been playing around with it. Smashy says, my brain is not used to animated Wazzy. I'm working on it. Law says, I tried to make it a Waffle House, but there are none in Canada. Screw Chuck goes, so I found a vending machine toy. Would that be an awesome gift or a curse gift for you? Screech Chuck, this is part of my identity now. And what do you mean you found a vending machine toy? Who made this shit? Uh, Doofus Bird says, um, you not streaming forced me to look for other streamers and I actually found another person, personal favorite streamer. Oh, that's awesome. Kakashi says, I don't think anybody in your chat has seizure problems besides me and flashing lights don't trigger them. HG says, tell me all of your best Japan tips. I'm headed out soon. Oh, um, on, say after you eat and you pay, say onagashimasu. Is it onagashimasu? I can't remember. I'm so jet-lagged, ASJ. Um, but onagashimasu means thank you for the food, essentially, when you're done. Um, so that's a big tip. Um, if you're going to USJ, um, go um, make sure you book in advance if you want to do anything cool at USJ. Oh, go Jisosama Deshita. That's it. Sorry. Thank you, Matt. Um, <laughs> Right, it says, was he with a frame rate? That's impossible. Um, anyway, I got to catch up on all these requests and shit. Um, LVR, who changed it back to blue? Oh, Kakashi Lover did. Okay, uh, Snake had a notice me sent by like 20 minutes ago. And I am just now getting into the groove of um, fucking streaming again. I'm sorry, everybody. This stream is going to be fucking the worst. This this is going to be the most scuffed stream you've ever seen. All right. Are we ready, Snake? Ahem. Hey, Snake. Do you want to go to the gym? Because I can see you and me working out. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Flirt. Okay. Um, I should draw something. <laughs> Kai is here. Hi, Kai. Kai says, what do you mean 20 minutes in and when it's barely been 10? Oh, fuck. I don't know what time means anymore. I don't even know what day it is. Um, let's see. Which art request do I want to work on? There is an uncomfortable amount um, of good art requests. Fancy! Sweezy, are you aware of perfect hair forever? I'm not aware of perfect hair forever. And who's putting thick on here? Let's see. What's a good art request? I haven't even drawn a single thing. You know what? Let's start Screw this... Screw the bingles. I have bangles. Let's start this off cursed as fuck. Let's start Blaze the Cat from Sonic. But I'm going to draw Blaze the Cat from Sonic from memory. Okay, this is purely from memory. No references. We die. We die and go to Valhalla in glory. Um, here's a fun fact about me and Sonic. I don't know enough about Sonic to know anything about Sonic. Um, I know Blaze the Cat is indeed a cat, and I think they're pink. Um... Because there's a difference between Blaze the Cat and Biggs the Cat. They might be related. I don't actually know. Um, can somebody who knows things about Sonic tell me that? Okay, I haven't drawn in like 20 days, crew. So this is going to be a mess, as we say in the industry, as I as I try to figure it out. Closet Brody's here. Says, hello, Wazzy. Good to have you back. <laughs> uh, okay. If I was a cat... Okay, I think she has hair. I think she's got like a sporty ponytail, I feel. And she's a cat, so she's obviously got cat ears. So that makes sense. Um, I 
Blaze has a South Korean haircut. I don't know what that means, Fancy. <laughs> Blaze is purple. Oh, shit. Okay, Blaze is purple. Okay, got it. Got it. Does Blaze wear clothes? <laughs> Everybody tell me every fact you know about Blaze the Cat, and together we will create the most realistic Blaze the Cat you've ever seen. Don't worry, this is sketch layer. You're a cat, so you gotta have a cat tail. Meow, meow, meow. Um, <laughs> Blazes from another dimension. Oh, shit. Okay, um... She wears clothes and high heels. They let somebody in the Sonic universe run around in high heels? Are you kidding me? Somebody's gonna snap their fucking ankle. Do you know how fast Sonic goes? The entire point of the Sonic franchise is that you run around real fast and they got this bitch running around in heels. That's very rude to her. Whoa, no, no, no. We're not doing knock-knock today. <laughs> she has a common Rider belt. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> Blaze the Cat has a fat ass. Okay, they also have fire powers. Oh, from their face? Blaze the Cat uses the Super Emeralds to go flaming Blaze. She has pyrokinesis. Oh, she's she's got... Okay. So I'm going to put her tail on fire. Kind of like... Kind of like Charmander. Um, okay. She's blonde. Blaze the Cat is blonde. She's blonde. Okay. Blonde and purple. Okay. Okay. She looks like she came in a hot topic. Hot topic. Okay, got it. She's from the future. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay. Mm, everything I'm learning, I feel I'm learning less. Okay. Okay. I think I might have enough information to go on. Um, and two Disney eyelashes per eye. What the fuck does that mean? What the, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> a version of her spin dash is spinning into a pyro tornado. Man, uh, who's stretching me? Um. Okay, all right. Let's give her a cool Hot Topic jacket. Like, she's from the Matrix. Her tail is on fire because she's got pyrokinesis. She wears, she's got to wear fishnets, right? That seems right. <laughs> oh, you don't have enough info. Her eyes are basically half shut. So she basically has a pissed off mom look. Okay. All right. She's going to have like, um, her eyes are half shut, half shut eyes. But she's a Sonic character, so she's got to have that weird thing going on with her face. You know how Sonic characters be with the weird part of their face? And she's a cat, so she's got to have, like, a little nose. There we go. That's pretty accurate. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> and she looks like she's Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, she should probably have arms, I guess. <laughs> Screw the rules, she has money. Okay. She has no Bodon Honkeros. Okay, cool. All right, cool. I think this is pretty accurate. This looks pretty, this looks pretty on point, right? That's, that's pretty Blaze the Cat-ish. All right, let's fucking do it. Let's see how far my skills have regressed in the several days I've been gone. So yes, tell me everybody, what have you been doing the past 20 days? What war criminal acts have you uh, done while I was in rehab and totally, um, you know, totally not in jail? Wait, b doesn't Biggs the Cat have, like, weird things on his face? Like a little whoop whoop? Isn't that, like, Biggs the Cat's his thing? And if they're kind of maybe related? <laughs> Gears is here. It says Wazzy's home. I am. I got kicked out of my... Uh, apartment because of a large party. What the fuck, Gears? <laughs> Radio says exams. <laughs> Kakashi says, I was waiting for you to get home and bothering Lib. 
Phoenix, because we started the apocalypse. Well, I mean, as long as you apocalypsed with the other kids. Lever says, I've been doing war crime, um, war crime and watching Hunter x Hunter. Well, that makes sense. Technically, Hunter x Hunter is in itself a war crime from everything I understand. Um, from the vague little bit I know about Hunter x Hunter. Gear says, if it makes it any better, it wasn't my party. Um... So your roommate threw a party and you got thrown out is what I'm understanding. Um, your roommate threw bingle, a bitchin' bangle. party. Don't bingle bangle me. I'm so tired. Ryan. How dare you. Oh, so it hasn't triggered yet. Oh, yep. There it's, there it's triggering. Hi, Wazy playing Titanfall. So not going to chat very much. Thank you, Jared, for resubscribing for your third fucking month. And playing Titanfall. Do people still play that game? <laughs> I'm more shocked that people are playing that game than that you're currently playing it. Um, Snakes has been playing T Pizza Tower. Uh, binge watching Kamen Rider. Watching Ruby with Crusher. Uh, Kakashi says, And I had a fight with a bird that got into my house. And there's a cat living downstairs in the vacant apartment. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Dusseldorf says, I discovered layer effects is, exist in days ago doing digital art for five years. You know what, dude? Sometimes we learn things in art that we should have known a long time ago and we just kind of got to live our life. Hey, does she have bangs? I feel like she has bangs. She should have bangs. If you've got pyrokinesis, you probably have bangs. I'm going to give her bangs. Uh, that seems right. Um, Gare says, yep, because they had my liquor. And Radio goes, in Scotland, the purge has begun. Uh, what? <laughs> Sarah says, I thought Robin plays that game. Well, yeah, but, like, fucking... Yeah, but, like, is Robin somebody? <laughs> Doofus says, also got hooked on Full Metal Alchemist. That enemy slaps. Yeah, it's fucking... It, it fucking rocks. Uh, Frostbeard says Titanfall 2 is a great game. Precious says, Today dancing is banned forever here for some reason. Oh, it's like that song. Bye Bye Miss American Pie. Oh, shit. Speaking of fucking um, musical bands and shit. I'm peeking. I'm so sorry, everybody. Wow, what the fuck is wrong with my settings? I'm so sorry. I've been blowing your ears out all day. Um... Speaking of um, musical band entries, did you know that S Club 7, uh, for those of you too young to remember, S Club, there ain't no party like an S Club party. Um, S Club, one of their dudes died. And the dude who died from S Club was named Paul. And in, like, the only song I know about S Club, they do, like, a breakdown of everybody. And they're like, Hannah's screaming out for more. And everything like this. And um, Paul, the one who died, is the one who's on the floor. Um, and I know some dude just died, so I shouldn't, like, make a joke about it. But, like, Paul's getting down on the floor because he's dead and he's there. Stop! Fucking Ryan, stop gifting subs. I'm making a joke about S Club 7 guy dying. Uh, Char is here. Hello, Char. Uh, Char says, hey, Wazzy, welcome back to North America. Thank you. I am so fucking tired, dude. I've been sleeping like all yesterday I slept and then all today I slept. I basically, my two, the past two days have been, like today and yesterday have been, I wake up and I'm like, I'm hungry and I eat something and then I do one thing and then I sleep until again I get hungry and wake up and then do one thing and then go to sleep. This is my one thing that I'm doing <laughs> in between sleeps. <laughs> uh, thank you for hydrate. Six says, I like that we all gave her misinformation to make this character. What are you talking about? This is actually 100% Blaze the Cat. I don't know what you're talking about. This is 100% accurate Blaze the Cat. 
who's obviously related to Biggs the Cat. I probably should have given her a fatter dumpy. <laughs> um, Radio says, in my ethnic country, Itertia, I don't even know. I just learned it is illegal for men to date men, but it is legal for women to date women. What, How do you like that, Obama? Fair. I bangled the moon! Go! My super laser bingles! Damn it, Gears, don't bingle me right now. I'm trying to read chat. Pineapple Rats is 97 more for my takeover. Also, I gotta hydrate. I did that. No, I did that. Um, Radio says, also, I'm by mail. Yay. <laughs> well, have you considered radio not being in your country so that you can be more gay be gay and do crimes and sometimes being gay is a crime so you have to go to a, a better place where it's not a crime uh Duval smorts is go is going through the og of um full metal before watching brotherhood that's fair both are okay. Uh, Brotherhood just kind of fucking rocks more dicks, if I'm being honest. All right. Is she kind of sultry? I'm going to assume she's kind of like, what's her personality type? Besides hot topic. Besides the hot topic you guys have given me, what is her personality type? Is she like kind of sultry? Is she like Rouge the Bat? Radio says, the trick is, even though my family wants me to, I will not go. Good. Uh, Duval Star says, it's not a crime to be gay, but you will be bullied. D yeah. <laughs> she's more royal. Oh, is she? Okay, so she's... She's super nice and stuff, I assume. I'll give her eyebrows. I don't know if she has eyebrows. She's got eyebrows now. And she'll have a little nice smile. That's pretty accurate. Yeah, that looks like Blaze the Cat. Coming out here doing fire and shit. She's the princess of her dimension. Well, damn. Damn, whose fucking OC is this that made it into the Sonic universe? Who made this character? Who fucking was like, you know what we need? We need an interdimensional princess with brain fire magic that's mm, yes that's exactly what the sonic franchise needs i gotta give her like really thick cuffs on her jacket because i've never seen a jacket from hot topic that didn't have the biggest cuffs in the world retro's here hello retro well see you're back i am back i'm barely awake but i'm back i am the most tired i've ever been um, but I had a really fun time and I will tell you guys all about it on Saturday, but right now, um, I'm drawing what you guys want or not Saturday, Sunday, whatever days are of the week are. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how wor days work. Alright, says, not saying you are tired and slow, but with everyone telling you about the character, this drawing is taking like 30 minutes. Riura. Riura. I'm seven levels of jet lagged. Okay. I was awake for 34 hours. Not including the 30-minute nap where a toddler called me a baby. Okay. Not including that. I didn't sleep on the planes. Either of them. Um, I sat beside the most talkative person in the entire world. My, fl my flight was delayed like four hours. Rira, my dick is not big enough. For you to be riding it this hard. <laughs> uh, said, me, I walked into the Sonic team and they took my pick, pitch. Also, Hive's here. Hello, Hive. Uh, Ray says, I just want to see the cheese and cream lore in Sonic. I'm sorry, what? I Please don't talk about creaming Sonic. I was actually thinking of playing the murder Sonic game. Even though I know nothing about Sonic. I'm going to make a prediction right now. You know who murdered Sonic? His fucking cholesterol levels. 
The man eats nothing but chili dogs, and you're going to tell me that that man didn't die of a massive fucking heart failure? Hive says, hi, I'm back from a small break from the internet. <laughs> Six says, I can't wait to see the photos of you guys being attacked by the monster of the week while you guys were in Japan. <laughs> Rare says, I don't care how fast you draw, but I was just noticing. Lol says, I've read too many bad fanfics about Sonic creaming. Well, listen, I haven't. I've never read a Sonic fanfic in my life. I've never sat down. And being like, you know what I need to read? A Sonic fanfic. That'll that's what's really gonna put me to sleep. I'll sit down with the with the good old internet and read a good old Sonic fan fiction to lull me to sleep. Sarah says, um Saturday at AM, Archie and IDW Sonic Lore. CFO says, I like how the video for um for it is we've listened to your feedback he's dead <laughs> listen we've heard everything everybody's been saying about sonic and we fucking killed him hi says i'm currently playing the sonic murder game for me and my friends are doing the voices of all the characters Cher says that gives you an idea sonic the character eating from sonic the fast food place i've don't think i've actually had sonic or have i I don't know if I've ever actually... I ate Whataburger while I was stuck in fucking um, Dallas Airport. Um, I ate Whataburger. Or Whataburger. I don't know how it's actually supposed to be pronounced. I just know we don't have them where I'm at. And I was like, I'm going to eat this. And I had no idea what to order. And so I ordered just a regular kind of burger. And it was all right. The milkshake was really thick, but like it was pretty, it was pretty fucking average, you know. I'm not like knocking down the doors and being like, hey, yo, Whataburger is, is where it's fucking at. But like, it wasn't like disappointing or anything. It wasn't like an Arby's. Like I didn't have a bad time. <laughs> Six is also a great job on the April Fool's video. Well, thank you. Hive says, I have given Amy... Like, the very best heavy metal voice I could, could and Knuckle, Knuckles was just a cowboy. <laughs> I mean, isn't that, isn't that Knuckles in a nutshell? Steak uh, says, I really love the end of your April Fool's video, um, because it, it and it off a great note. I don't, what? <laughs> Sour Lad says, was well, he going to watch the Mario movie? Uh, joke's on you, Sour Lad. Yes. Tomorrow, actually. If I'm unjet-lagged enough, my one task of tomorrow is to be unjet-lagged enough to go watch the Mario movie. I hold no opinions of it. I'm just going to let whatever happens, happens. I'm not even going to sit there and... And stew and my god, I hate fucking Chris Pratt uh, headspace. I'm just going to go and be like, show me Bowser. Radio says, I'm in Scotland and we literally got our first Popeyes. What the fuck? Sonic has a fast food restaurant? It does. Um, and it's all very fetishy. You really shouldn't go to Sonic. When you go to when you go to Sonic, all they have is chili dogs, and every thing you order from there has blue hair in it. It comes out real fast, though, so that's that's pretty much a bonus for them. Snake says, "Don't worry. When you go see the Mario movie, you can go turn off your brain because I literally did that watching it with somebody else in the Discord." Charlotte says, "How are baby cats? And what did they do when you came home?" Uh, they're good. Um, when we got home, Tattle freaked out because we had a suitcase and that was too scary for her. Um, but Tail was perfectly fine and was like, hello, welcome home. And then, um, I passed out for several days and they sometimes pass out upon me. Jacob says, hey guys, do you know, uh, that in terms of Jacob, you didn't finish your fucking sentence. Hi, <laughs> guys. I already watched the movie and I loved it. And now I'm and now I'm gonna cocaine bear. And now I'm gonna cocaine bear in like thirty minutes. I do also want to watch Cocaine Bear. 
Also, I watched the Lorax for the first time in the mo in in the fucking plane. I've never watched the Lorax before. I just know everybody was horny for that one guy. And I was like, I'm going to see why everybody's horny for that one guy. So I watched the movie. And, um, yeah, they really didn't have to go that hard on that guy. But they fucking did. So, okay, I can un I can understand it. I don't know why I'm getting sprayed for this. Reaver says, bye, Wazzy. You've got to go back to paying attention to work. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Reaver goes, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it because their footballs have long established fear of suitcases, Wazzy. Why did you think there are no Nerf suitcases? There should be Nerf suitcases. I put a lot of fragile shit in my fucking suitcase. There should be Nerf suitcases that you could whip down the stairs full force and everything in there would still be okay. Six says, oh, so you know about the one slur now. Yeah, I do know about the one slur. <laughs> I knew about him, but I never like witnessed him. I was like, I don't understand why people are all horny for this man. Um, I, Cause I didn't understand it. Cause I'd never seen it. Um, and then I watched it and I was like, oh, they, they didn't really have to animate him gyrating that much, but they did. Um, I don't know why they did, but they did. You know, I wasn't the one there making the call being like, hey, this man's hips are not gyrating nearly enough. Um, but they did. They they did do that. And somebody had to animate that. And you know what? That's, that's life, baby. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to animate some man gyrating. And you know what? I understand it. Um, I don't have to like it. I just have to know that's part of business, baby. <laughs> Gray is here. Hello, Gray. Gray says the Wetzler is literally just a guy. He is a guy. He's just a guy that they made gyrate a whole bunch. Bernie's here. Hello, Bernie says you're alive. I am alive. D. Gray says, what are you doing today for the rest of your day? Um, After this, after this stream, I got to go kick Frostbeard's ass in a parking lot. He's one of the mods. Um... I have to go kick his ass in a parking lot uh, behind the Denny's. And then I'm going to come home and go to sleep. You know how it be. <laughs> that lucky animator. Uh, the one Frox... F uh, I'm... F fuck it. I can't read that name. Fox. I'm just going to call you Fox. Hello there. How much chaos has been caused? Um, not a lot. I'm drawing Blaze the Cat from the memory of Blaze the Cat I don't actually legally have. Um, everybody told me what Blaze the Cat looks like, and I assume she's related to Biggs the Cat. So that's, that's what's, that, that's what chaos is happening. Trish says, I have to work soon and I need to go do some stuff first. So I'm going to head out. Bye, Wazzy. Bye, Jingle John. Bangle. Thanks for stopping by. Damn it, Ace! I am trying to fucking work my best here. How dare you bingle me? Hello, Ace. <laughs> Jacob says, if anyone plays Overwatch 2, have you ever gotten a play of the game where you ascend to a higher realm? Um, I played the original Overwatch, and man, let me tell you, um, I got so many plays of the game. I was actually really good at Overwatch. Overwatch is probably the only game I've ever been good at. Like, on a competitive sense. Yeah, that seems pretty Blaze the Caddy, am I right? Is this... This is what we're going for? And she's... You, you guys said Hot Topic, but also Princess. So, like, I'll give her a Hot Topic, but I'll also give her a little, like... I don't know, what's princessy? I'll give her like a little flower on her Hot Topic jacket. That's pretty princessy, right? Princesses like flowers. <laughs> Play says, I hate how I'm going to crest into this hell spawn of a Sonic character. What are you talking about? She's great. This is Blaze the Cat. This is canonic Blaze the Cat. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why does Blaze the Cat have Naruto's stripper net shirt? Because you guys told me. 
Listen, I don't know anything about Blaze the Cat. I literally just drew based on your guys' opinion. What you guys told me is what I drew, okay? <laughs> Six says, of course you got a bunch of plays of the game. You were playing Mercy. Don't blingle blangle me, please. Don't blingle blangle me, Ace. Hive says, I once got to play the game where it was just a zoom in of my character dead in a pit. And I'm not even sure how I got it since I was Lucio at the time. Uh, wait, Wazzy, you're, no, you're a pro at all the video games. That's, you know what? You're so right. I'm, I'm so, listen, I just like to be humble. Um, but in reality, I'm actually a, pro, a professional gamer. Uh, it says so on my business cards that I totally legitimately have. Wazzy, pro gamer. Top top tier. Kakashi says this is my new favorite character. <laughs> Fox says, no, no, no. You repeat what you said. You're not gonna get away with calling Blaze the Cat a relative of Big. Well, I'm sorry. Bingo, bingo. I only know that there's two characters that are cats in the Sonic universe, okay? One is Biggs and one is apparently Blaze. And you're telling me that they're not related? Even though Blaze is Blaze the cat and Biggs is Biggs the cat? And you're telling me, oh no, one's a princess from another dimension. You know what? You know, This is going to be real controversial, but I'm just going to come out and say it. You know what? Blaze the cat is just Biggs the cat's OC um, that that they put in the game. Bigs the Bigs the cat created Blaze the cat as their cool Naruto OC. So uh, there you go. There's your there's your true Sonic head cannon for you. Anyway, Ace, thanks for gifting another sub. Why are you doing this to me? <clears throat> I says this is Forest Fire the cat. Abiton is here. Hello. It says this looks like a very nearly. A a at Kasuki, uh, member for Sona. No, it's Blaze the Cat. Trust me. <laughs> also, apparently there are like 50 cats. <laughs> from the Sonic fandom wiki. Blaze is from another dimension timeline, depending on what lore you're looking at. Mm, I don't know, guys. I don't know. From everything I'm... She's purple. You know who else is purple? Biggs the Cat. Um, what color eyes does she have? Blaze the Cat is a gender-swapped big the cat. Was he why she pantless, you pervert? Because most Sonic characters are pantless. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you ever seen a Sonic character before? I'm fucking sorry. Have you ever seen a Sonic character? You tell me what fucking Sonic character wears pants. Also, her eyes are green. Thank you. Thank you, Snake. <laughs> why is Amy Rose not called Amy the Hedgehog? Because she's not related to Sonic the Hedgehog. That's why. That's why she's not called that. That's why it's okay for them to date and stuff. Is because they're not related. That's why Amy Rose is Amy Rose and not Amy the Hedgehog. She wants to be Amy the Hedgehog. But... <laughs> Uh, also, why does this version of Blaze look like a Night in the Woods character? Uh, because I'm just drawing what you guys told me she looks like. I'm just doing legally what you guys said. I've done one art request. I'm so jet-lagged. Uh, <laughs> I'm so tired. Blaze wears like a royal dress that covers her whole body and legs, bruv. I don't know this. I don't know anything about her. Listen. Listen, here's the true version of of Blaze the Cat. Now let's go see what you guys are talking about because you guys are talking about a completely different character. This is the official Blaze the Cat. Now I gotta Google this. Hold on. Why do I have two versions of the same thing up? Blaze the Cat. Bigs the Cat's OC. Oh no. Oh. All right, then. I have some things I need to say. A, first of all, um, I was at least right on the ponytail. Um, I at least got the ponytail thing right. I didn't know she had a gem in her head. Nobody once said she's got a gem in the middle of her forehead. 
Um, I wouldn't have given her, I wouldn't have given her fangs if I knew she had a gem in their forehead. Um, also, what Sonic character wears pants? Also, she does have high heels. Wow. You know what? My version's better. Okay, everybody, poll time. This is A, and this is B. Which version of Blaze the Cat do you like better? We're making a poll. We're making a poll. See if I remember how to do this. Which Blaze the Cat is better? Mine, who has so much personality... Or the original one, which is wearing pants, which is something no fucking uh, Sonic character has done before. Does Sonic wear pants? No, Sonic doesn't wear pants. You don't see you guys fucking freaking out being like, where's Sonic's pants? Fucking, for some reason, it's just, ah, no, Wazzy fucking... Where's where's how the fuck am I supposed to know Blaze the Cat wears pants when literally no other Sonic character that I know of wears pants? This one looks better. It looks more like a cat. <laughs> I feel this could you could make this in Sonic Forces. BMC is here. Hello, BMC. Rina says fastest art request. I know, I'm so quick. B Blaze looks like the cool uncle who will give you Sonic who will give you Sonic chili dog, even though Sonic says no. The only female, only females in character is Sonic wear pants. Rouge wears pants and Eggman wears pants. Well, Eggman's a human man and I really don't want to see Eggman's dinky hanging out. I'm going to be real honest with you. It would really bring down the level of threat that Eggman has if, like, every time Eggman was on screen, he walks out of his little... Like, imagine here. Okay, I'm going to draw something really quick. This isn't an art request, but just imagine this, okay? So, like, you know how Eggman, like, shows up and he's always, like, half body flying in one of these, like, flying things? And he's like, Nah, Sonic, you little shit! You're fucking up my robots! And he's, like, flying around in a little ship that usually looks kind of like his face, right? And then just imagine he steps out of it, and he's standing there, and he's like, Ah, Sonic, you little fucking... I'm gonna kick your ass for real this time. And Eggman pops out. And this is what you get. You just get... He's got, like, a full-on shirt on. He's got his little Eggman shirt on. But he's got his dinky hanging out. Do you really want to? You really want to fuck around with Eggman? If this is if this is what you're getting when it comes to Eggman, <laughs> Amy Cream Vanilla Eggman and Rogue all wear uh, a BDSM suit. I've says, or maybe it would look like a threat for you because I've already seen Eggman's nipples. Kikashi says, "Tell us about Japan. I can tell you guys little things." Um. Basically, uh, Raku has asked that we talk about Japan on uh, the stream this sat uh, Sunday um, so that we can all tell stuff together because we were all there as a group. But it was a good time. I only got a little cursed and got a little bit of haunted candy and, you know, it's all cool. What? I exploded, and I saw the explosion happen on my screen before I heard it in my ear, and that's not how that's supposed to go, but okay. Why does he look like the Pringles guy? There's a female character named Bunny Rab Raboot who doesn't have any pants only and only wears a ones. Eggman attacks with a super laser piss. Well, I'm just saying, Eggman would be a lot less threatening if he came out and his dinky was hanging out, you know. Here's here's a fun fact for all you future villains. Um just don't have your uh don't have your dinky hanging out, you know, when you're when you're doing evil shit. When you're out there doing your evil crimes and shit, maybe don't have your dinky hanging out, you know, it's just a it's just a little thing, you know. It's just a little thing you can do, you know. Let's see. What do I want to... Wasi pass out on an, on an airport floor. You know what? Yes. I'm going to draw exactly that. Ace goes, piss facts. Two says, now I'd be afraid. Who'd fight a guy with his cock out? Exactly. 
Kikashi says, um, so how many, so how did the Pillar of Dreams video do? I think it worked well. I think, I think it worked out well. We confused some people, so I'm quite happy with it. Numbers wise, it didn't do great, but that's cool. Also, yeah, I also didn't hear the bonk. Replay the blonk. Maybe something is up with the thing. Wazzy, the poll. I know the poll is up there. People are choosing which cat they like better, which should be B. You know, honestly. Hmm. I don't know why audios isn't working. I'm too tired to look into it. I have about seven points of energy. A wins! How could you guys pick A over B? Look at how cool B looks. You're telling me which one gives more fucking Princess of Space vibes? Definitely B. This is fucking rude. Radio says, piss fact, pissing in the shower is good for your toenails. Radio, how do you know that? How do you... What? How do you... What? what? Oh, well, I'm hearing the knock-knock, unfortunately. <laughs> he is a stripper. How dare you? Um, Snake says, did you see more or less tonko um, tokusatsu than you thought you would in Japan? I saw a lot because, of course, there's a new... Um, there's a new movie or some shit coming out for it, so I saw an uncomfortable amount. Uh, cause there was like promotions for it everywhere. This is, uh, Doofenshmirtz says, uh, piss fact. If you want to avoid a fight, just take your pants off. Yeah, that's exactly perfect strategy. Good job. Nobody wants to fight a dude with his pants off. <laughs> Wussy well, Blazer's eyes are yellow. Well, that's not what I was told. Phoenix says, no, um, no, B kind of looks like some random ninja princess. They're different. <laughs> Uh, P is cooler. Oh, no. Anyways. <laughs> Jared says, he's correct. Uh, pissing on your toes will help kill some bacteria on your foot. Man, I hate everything about this. I wish you guys didn't have so many piss facts readily available. Can you guys, like, just, you know... Oh, I heard that bonk. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Phoenix goes, should I install and play the Peppa Pig game? I mean, I've got nothing against Peppa Pig, except that her face looks like a dinky. Um, I know this because my niece is really obsessed with Peppa the Pig right now. Um, and so... I had to draw it on her birthday card. But as I was drawing Peppa Pig, um, this is a fun fact about Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig's face looks like this, everybody. For those of you who have never drawn Peppa Pig before, Peppa Pig kind of looks like this. Um, I didn't put that in center screen. Hold on. Peppa Pig kind of looks like this. And um, if you super transpose a dinky over it, you're like, damn... Peppa Pig kind of looks a little bit like a dinky, just saying, you know, just, you know, I don't want to be the dude to put that out there. Just, I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Rio says, joke, what's the difference between a garbanzo bean and a chickpea? I would not play the garbanzo bean on my face. Ah, uh, okay, radio, get out. <laughs> Ace goes, so are you going to collect a lot of piss facts to share? Doofusler says, well, yeah, eating booger kills bacteria too. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> okay, if you want an accurate position of how I was sleeping on the floor at the fucking airport, I will show you. I was curled around Matt's legs like a little cat. Like he was sitting in a chair like a regular human. And I was dead on the floor like this. 
<laughs> My ass wasn't out, but like, you know, come on. Dr. Dill says, we all missed you so much, Miss Wazzy. I don't believe that for a second. I think you guys were just sitting in wait with fucking so many piss facts. This is the exact position I was in when a toddler came up and called me a baby. Just fucking looking like a piece of shit. <laughs> Wants he cat persona. Double sources. Look up Peppa Pig's dad. Oh God. Peppa Pig dad. I don't like it. Why is why does he look like that? Why does Peppa Pig's dad look like that? That's a penis. Listen, I'm just gonna say it. That's a penis. <laughs> All right, sketch layer done. Let's do this. <laughs> because look, it's a baby. Sorry, let's see. He was born like that. Why was the dad? Listen. As somebody who has now been to the Dinky Festival and saw an uncomfortable amount of Dinkies, I can say with with precision and accuracy, that's a penis. <laughs> the characters just look like hair dryers to me. I guess so. I guess in a roundabout way, I guess aren't we all just hair dryers? British pigs. Ah, uh, don't let ASJ hear me say that. <laughs> They'll be like, "What? What are you doing?" <laughs> Radio says, "Booger fact: You produce one point five quarts of boogers a day. That's a lot." Kakashi says, "Did the Dinky Festival have good food?" Um, I didn't like. They didn't have a lot of food. They had deep fried banana. Like they had banana stuff. They basically had bananas in different forms and then candy that was in the shape of dick for food. Um, but I did get a whistle um, in the shape of a dick. So that's fun. Well, this is P fact. Even if you have a jellyfish for a tooth, put pee in your mouth. <laughs> Dufeldor says, I'm going to head out. I'm going to eat some things. Bye, Dusseldorf. <laughs> Uh, the line to the Dinky Festival was also incredibly long. Um, like, honestly, I thought, like, we got there before it opened. And I was like, we'll be fine. And it was a long-ass line. Um, but we got in. It's not a very big place at all. Um, oh, it was long and hard. We made so many jokes about dicks that I think Matt got mad by the end of it. Me and Raku just sat there making jokes like, man, got me standing at attention for this, this, uh, parade. And like, do you think, do you think it'll rise to the occasion and stuff like that? We made just, I like for all the time we were in line, we made dick jokes. And there wasn't a single person there, I think who wasn't just a weird tourist. Also, we saw the unofficial mascot guy, so that was kind of cool. He's very unofficial. The Dinky Festival tries to, like, not be, like, on his team. But there's basically a, a, this dude who has a big penis helmet um, who always shows up at the Dinky Festival, but he stands, like, about two blocks away. And that's because the Dinky Festival doesn't really want to be associated with this guy. Um, so yeah. Felix goes, so how was it hanging out with, uh, Miku? Miku, you know what? Miku's, Miku's pretty all right by me. I had a good time. I can't explain it all because I'm very tired. Um, 
<laughs> penis common writer. There might have been a common writer penis. I don't know. I didn't see one, but I wouldn't put it past them. I saw people with little penis hats. Um, I saw two guys in giant blow up penis costumes. It was very much a very positive event that I think uh, really stood out. And it was, uh, it was a good time. And I bought a whole bunch of candy. <laughs> Radio says, Miku is 50 to 16 year old, old and married to her creator. Was she married to some other guy? I thought some other dude married Miku. I don't think it was Miku's creator that married Miku. I thought it was some other person. I thought some other dude. Who married Miku? I'm Googling this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who married Miku? Who married Miku? All right. But eventually, Kondo realized he had been in love with Miku for more than a decade and decided to marry her. I think he's just some regular guy. His mother refused an invitation to her only son's wedding in Tokyo this month. Perhaps that isn't such a surprise. surprise. He was marrying a hologram. For mother, it wasn't something to celebrate, said the soft-spoken 35-year-old whose bride is a virtual reality singer named Miku. In fact, none of Kondo's relatives attended his wedding to Miku, an animated 16-year-old with saucer eyes and lengthy aquamarine pigtails, but that didn't stop him from spending over 2 million yen on a formal ceremony at Tokyo Hall. Around 40 guests watched as he tied the knot with Miku, present in the form of a cat-sized stuffed doll. I never cheated on her. I've always been in love with Miku-san, he said, using honorific that is commonly employed in Japan, even by friends. I've been thinking about her every day, he told, he, he told us a week after the wedding. Since March, Kondo has been living and with a moving talking hologram of Miku that floats in a $2,800 desktop device. I'm in love with the whole concept of, of Miku, but I got married to the Miku of my house, he said, looking at the blue image glowing in a capsule. He considered himself an ordinary married man. His holographic wife wakes him up each morning and sends him off to his job as an administrator at a school. In the evening, when he tells her by cell phone that he is coming home, she turns on the light. Later, she tells him when it's time to go to bed. That's, yeah, the, the man married Miku. <laughs> Uh, he married a hologram of Miku until the company shut down. BFC says, Wazzy is sus. Is she a robot? Ace goes, I wish I could marry my anime character. Law says, Columbo is Hatsune Miku. Also wrote Harry Potter and made Minecraft. Radio says, this sounds like fan fiction. Sour says, some people don't get shamed enough. Sour Lai says, stop beating around the bush and just come out. Phoenix says, my man's living in the future with his AI wife. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to judge a man for marrying Hudson, for, for marrying Miku. I am going to judge him for uh, his mom not coming to his wedding. <laughs> he, okay, wait. He sleeps alongside the doll version of her that attended the wedding, complete with a wedding ring that fits around her left wrist. Kondo's marriage might not have any legal standing, but that doesn't bother him. He even took his Miku doll to a jewelry shop to get the ring. At Gatebox, a company that produces the hologram device featuring Mish Miku has issued a marriage certificate, which certifies that the human and the virtual character have been wed beyond dimensions. Kondo's not alone, either. He says Greatbox has issued more than 3,700 certificates for cross-dimension marriages. And some people have sent him supportive messages. Man. Sometimes you just gotta marry a, a fucking avatar, I guess, everybody. 
Well, you know what, dude? Good for you. Good for marrying Miku. With your weird Miku doll. Uh, Ace goes, will you guys come to my wedding when I marry my 2D wife body pillow? My question is, um, fucking, if, if you have a waifu pillow and you got to take a plane ride with her, are you going to put your waifu in checked luggage? Will she be a carry-on item or will you, um, shell out for a seat for her? Kagashi says, I'm not surprised none of his family came to the wedding. Also, I would like this type of money to fund that wedding. <laughs> hey, <coughs> Sorry, my face exploded. Jacob says, Wazzy, I have an idea for a stream. There's this game called Blazing Beaks. It's a lot of fun. It's only two players for the story mode, but I can see a very interesting stream with Froggy or, or Matt. DVD Wing is here. Uh, it says, hello, everyone. Glad you're back, Wazzy. It's good to be back, but I am so fucking tired. BFC says, Toxic, are you pouty? No, I'm just fucking tired. It says, you guys will come to my wedding when I marry my TD body pillow. <laughs> Miku is a Mormon? <laughs> Kakashi says, cross-dimension marriages. Okay, that's uh, um, that's fine. Live your life, dude. <laughs> Spectral is here and says, art. Sarlat says, that's anime about a hero dying in a shitty pit trap, and the farmer response is how he takes over the hero's corpse. Dr. Nelson says, so Miss Wazzy, since he married Miku, will you also get married to any of your Fire Emblem waifus or husbands? I don't see... Uh, no, I don't see why I would need to. Um, I'm not sitting here living my life going, God damn, Miku. Also, I need to stretch. Because Spectral told me to, and I'm doing it. He goes, I'll buy her a uh, seat. Um, she's real to me. <laughs> Phoenix says, you know what, Ace, Ace? Yes, I will. And I'll bring a toaster for you guys. Yeah, you know what? Fine, Ace. We will show up to your wedding. We will bring you a gift certificate to, I don't know, Bread Bath and Beyond. I don't know. That's a thing married people like, right? And it'll be fine. Also, I got to hydrate. <laughs> Rita says, this has gotten so cursed. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're just talking about a man and his waifu pillow, okay? Sometimes he's gotta sometimes he's gotta fucking marry his Miku, okay? Also Pinecone is here and is also lurking. <laughs> One man's trash is another man's waifu, okay? That's the way of the world. Radio says, Ace, can we, can Wazzy stream the wedding? Sarlad says, Wazzy, did any package arrive at your door? It's been four months. Not yet. Not your package. Something else arrived, but uh, not yours yet. He goes, did someone say cursed? As you put curse up on the screen. Thank you. I'm so glad my house didn't burn down because of my Furby while I was gone. That would have sucked. Okay, everybody. You have to marry um, a fictional character. Who are you marrying? You only get one. You can't pick more than one. You only you gotta be you gotta be in a monogamous relationship with one fictional character. But they can be whatever, like you know, gender you want. But you you gotta you gotta pick one fictional character. Six says, Wazzy, I have a game that you could stream. It's called King of the Castle. You play as a king and rule over country. Uh, while the Twitch chat tries to overthrow you, and it's only $5. Phoenix goes, uh, have you got the dual lingo owl? Yes, I did. I just didn't I just didn't post it yet because I've been asleep for two days. Jerry goes, Ronin from Titanfall 2. Pineco goes, Speedwagon. Pineco, I thought you were lurking. Sarlat says, should Wazzy play the horror Furby game in October? Snake goes, Tio for Monster Matsune. DV Wing says she has to be a tomboy. Jacob goes, Cynthia Pokemon. 
<laughs> That's her last name. Hi, I'm Cynthia Pokemon. Hi, you may know me. I'm Cynthia Pokemon. I'm a Pokemon master. You, you might you might remember me from such movies as Pokemon the ninth movie, I assume. Cynthia must have been in a Pokemon movie, right? <laughs> Aqua from Konosuba. Jared says, I don't care if he's 20 feet tall. I'm going to love that giant robot, man. Radio says, Android 21. <laughs> Pico says, I was going to lurk, but I wanted to answer the question. <laughs> Phoenix says, you mean her full name is Cynthia Champion Pokemon? Yes, her full... Hi, I'm Cynthia Champion Pokemon. <laughs> DVD Wing says, I mean, she has to. It's very important. Uh, Freshest Dumbledore says, should I change my username to Fresh Dumb Ass Door? <laughs> Liz, listen, you live your best life, Dumbledore. Listen, if you decide you've got to have the freshest ass in the West, then you do it, buddy. You fucking... You fucking live your best life. Phoenix says, I wouldn't want to marry anybody, but I would love to hang out with Chad from Bleach. He seems nice. I kind of goes, who would you marry, Wazzy? If I had to marry a 2D character. Oh, man, there's so many I like, though. If I had to marry a fictional character, there's so many I like. I have to think which one. It would probably have to be Chrome. Because, like, at the end of the day, I go for stability over, um, over anything else. And, like, that man's got a job. He's got a house. He seems like he's real. Like, his choices are pretty bad, so he would probably marry me. I mean, he'd just have to randomly find me in a field. That's exactly what happens at Fire Emblem. Krom finds a random girl in a field, which is me, and then he marries me. And it's great. And then my backup husband, Stahl, marries Krom's backup wife, um, Olivia, and everything's fine. Everything, everything's great. That's how, that's how it works. <laughs> so Krom Fire Emblem, that would be, that would be who I would marry. <laughs> Ratified Wazi in a field like the fucking Pokemon. No, that's what happens in Fire Emblem. In Fire Emblem Awakening, okay? Okay, here's the story of Fire Emblem Awakening by me, somebody who only played it a little bit. I played it until everybody... Um, BMC, I don't read the art requests. They, they come in auto. Um, here's, here's what happens in Fire Emblem Awakening. You wind up in a field... Uh, Krom is walking along on the field, trips on your dumb ass. He goes, oh man, there's a dude laying in this field. Do you want to be my battle tactician? And you go, yeah, sure. I could probably do that. And he goes, cool. And then like five days later, he's like, yo, you want to get married? And you go, fuck yeah, I do Krom Fire Emblem. And then you get married. And that's, and that's Fire Emblem. Radio says, uh, Krom, you draw something. Was it your standards to want to get married? <laughs> no, Radio, you forget. I'm the one that's in the field. <laughs> Sarlacc goes, Pepino Spaghetti. <laughs> Ace goes, a wild Lossie appeared. Loss says, the only thing I know about Fire Emblem is that I play the shirtless guy. You play every shirtless guy that I need voiced. Um, and you know that. Every time there's a shirtless guy that needs to be voiced, I'm like, well, better crawl all of Frostbeard. Here's a man, and he doesn't have a shirt. I guess Frostbeard better voice him. You don't even know the name of the character. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not offended. I only just fucking love Fire Emblem Three Houses. As much as I like, like, as much as I'm sitting here and saying, like, yeah, I would marry Krom... Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses is my favorite Fire Emblem. So. Well, says, hurry up and make more videos with shirtless guys. Hey, I'm living my best life out here, all right? 
Sound like goes, how's Matt? I don't know. He's probably listening. Hey, Matt. Sourlet asks how you are. You ask as if I know. Also, Froggy's not here next week. Froggy is on vacation. He messaged me on vacation to tell me. It just says, if you were forced to kill one 2D person who... Oh, man. Fucking... Um... Um... Peter Griffin. It says, I'm doing okay. I'm playing some Elden Ring and working through my jet lag. <laughs> Reader says Mineta. Mineta is a child and has the chance to be better. Not that I think he's going to be. I'm just saying he has a chance. Okay, everybody. Fucking. You have to erase one. Um. One. One fictional universe. You have to completely erase one fictional universe from all existence. No one will remember it but you. And it it gets erased and nobody knows what you're talking about anymore. Which, which what do you get rid of? Jacob says, that bitch that trades you a, a haunter with an Everstone. Oh yeah, that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Right, it says, uh, the writer said Mineta is a self-insert, so I don't think so. DVD uh, says, fairy godparents. So I like goes, Gookie. Matt goes, South Park. Grey Grey says, Undertale. Snake says, Big Mouth. Yeah, I would agree. Big Mouth sucks. Kakashi says, Attack on Titan. I think you're doing everyone in the world a favor. Iconic says, Undertale, the world would be better off without it. Jared goes, Coco Melon. That's not true, because then we wouldn't have Megalovania in the mainstream, okay? Then we wouldn't have Megalovania on DDR, okay? <laughs> Jared goes, Coco Melon. Somebody has a little sibling. Um, <laughs> Dr. Arnold goes, Fortnite. DVD Wing says, I hate the world uh, building of that show. Lulz goes, Harry Potter, screw, um, oh yeah, screw Queen, Queen Turf. Ace goes, Velma. Man, you know what would be funny? You know what? I think I would fucking delete just because I think it would be fucking hilarious. I would get rid of Pokemon from public consciousness. I would 100% get rid of Pokemon. And then no one would remember Pokemon. But hear me out. No one remembers Pokemon but me, right? I'm the only dude that remembers Pokemon. So I just make my own new Pokemon. I just, I just fucking make Pokemon again. And then I would be the creator of Pokemon. And then all the shitty Pokemon, I wouldn't have to, like, then we wouldn't have all the shitty Pokemon. Think about it. Don't you want to live in a world where Alohomora doesn't exist? Huh? Huh? <laughs> if you get rid of Pokemon, the Digimon becomes the most popular thing. But yeah, but this is the thing. If I get rid of Pokemon, I could just remake Pokemon. And then I would be like, hey, you know Goldango or whatever the fuck his name is? Guess what? Get rid of that cheese string, bitch! God, I would just, there would just be like a list of Pokemon that I would just get rid of. And you know what? Pokemon would be a better franchise. I would like start Pokemon, but I'd start it like with the good ideas in it. I wouldn't do mega evolutions. I'm not a fan of mega evolutions. Um, I would always have um, fucking um, different bag sizes. So like your berries and everything is always in a separate fucking bag. Um, I would also um, have it that you could pick to be one of three genders of just boy, girl, or... Um, I would also, um, fucking make a game that doesn't auto-load a, a skybox that is 19 times larger than the area of the game so that the frame rate doesn't drop. Who is surprised that Kakashi Lover loves, 
uh, likes Mega Lucario. Is anyone surprised by that? Six says, would you get rid of the furry bait po Pokemon? I would get rid of some of them. <laughs> Wells goes, the three genders, boy, girl, missing no. Greg goes, fame rate, who needs that? Exactly. A boy, a girl, or yes. <laughs> Are you a child? I would also, um, I would also make Larry appear, appear in every Pokemon game. Every Pokemon game would have Larry. Fusey says, I've always played Main C, um, so good luck, uh, Wazzy or Toxic here. Which name do you prefer to be called? Either one's fine. Snake says, what furry bait Pokemon would you keep? Um, I would keep Gardevoir. And I would keep Lop Bunny. Um, I would change. I would. Ch I would make it so that no starters would be on two legs. That would be like, hello, it's me, Wazzy, the president of Pokemon. The first thing I would do is make sure that um, we're not gonna have Pokemon on two legs that are starters, because that fucking man, am I not a fan of that? You know what? It's Easter. I'm going to take this request of a two-wheeled bunny. <laughs> it's Gary, Smasher Bat's Pokemon. Damn, Professor Oak would be, like, ma mind-blown by the idea of the gender. <laughs> what about Rowlet? He's on two legs the whole way through. Rowlet's okay, because Rowlet's not, like, too human. Like, I'm talking, like, like, look it. Like, okay. You're about to look me in the eye and tell me that all of whatever the last gen was, all of Sword and Shield's Pokemon needed to be on several legs. Actually, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to redesign some Pokemon for you guys. Rillaboom. Rillaboom didn't need to look like a human man. I'm just saying. I'm just like, listen. There's certain Pokemon that didn't need um, to look like they do. What was that? Was that Gen 8? The Gen 8 starters didn't lead to look human. I'm just saying. All right? I'm just saying. Sobble could have turned into this. Here's Sobble's final evolution. Okay. He went from like little sad guy to little emo kid. So he could have gone all the way to this. He could have been water dark. This is my thought. He's water dark. And he could just be like a little guy with like really big legs. And he's just like a little frog guy. You know, he's got to have some more sobble aspects. He's got a big tail. So like maybe the tail comes over and like becomes like a little leaf to protect him from water and shit like that. <laughs> Rillaboom's gorilla. What else are you asking for? If it's in a line and went on two legs sooner, I would have liked it more. <laughs> Hitmonchan. Listen, all of Gen 1 is pretty okay. The only one I'm even, like, slightly worried about with Gen 1 was, like, fucking, like, Machamp. Machamp's just, that's just a man. That, that's just, you, you're just, that's just a man. Here's fucking a better Inteleon, okay? He's the intelligence guy, so he's got to, like, he's got little froggy hands that, like, come together. Because he's intelligent. He's intelligent, but also a goth. So he's got to have, like, I don't want him looking too much like a dude. I want him to be an intelligent goth person whose tail, like, turns into a leaf or some shit. He's supposed to be on the sniper. needs to be on two legs. No, he doesn't. If anything, snipers usually lay down because they got to wait for a while. Listen, if he's a sniper... He's got to, like, if anything, okay, here, hold on. If he's got to be a sniper, if you're telling me Inteleon is a sniper Pokemon, here's what he's got to do. He's got to be, like, on the ground all the time. Because snipers don't just stand there and shoot. Sn the snipers of uh, are the guys that, like, 
Hmm. I don't know how to make Pokemon. I'll give him three legs because that seems right. We'll take this design and then we'll give him an extra leg for stability right there. And then we'll give him some weird little designs on his knees and shit. And then this will just turn into a gun. Instead of a funky little leaf that shades him. We'll just turn this into a gun. There we go. Intelligoth. Exactly. Have him crawling on his belly instead of that weird little crouch. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know how to make Pokemon. Listen. Just just make it a little guy. There we go. Fucking perfect. That's exactly what you need. He's kind of goth. Because that's kind of like they had the sad boy thing going on for them. It's fine. It's perfect. Sobble these nuts. Exactly. This looks looter than the original. This is this is a Pokemon, man. This this is a Pokemon. Like fucking Okay, what's another Pokemon people really want to fuck? Um fucking um Law Bunny. Exactly. There we go. The bunny winner got it for. Okay. Law Bunny. We're going to make Law Bunny less sexy. Iconic says, I got to go. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Wazzy. I missed you. I hope you have a great rest of the day. I'm going to sleep. God, do I want to sleep. <laughs> I got to do two things. I got to I gotta stream and then I got to go get dinner and then I'm going to sleep. I'm so jet lagged. Okay. Um, let's see. Law Bunny, but less sexy. I got to look up a reference of Law Bunny. So Lop Bunny's Pokedex. Let me let me look up some Pokedex entry here. Don't give me ads. I don't want this. Fuck off with these ads. Fuck off with your ads. Ahem. Tell me her things. Pokedex entries. There we go. An extremely cautious Pokemon. It cloaks its body with its fluffy ear fur when it senses danger. It's very conscious of its looks and never fails to groom its ears. It runs with slight, with sprightly jumps. Its ears appear to be delicate. It sheds its fur twice a year. Winter fur is soft and fluffy. Um, it appears... Its ears appear to be delicate. If they are touched roughly, it kicks with graceful legs. Okay, so basically, what we know is it needs, it likes to look good, and um, uh, we want to make it less fuckable. <laughs> People want to beg Big Chungus Wazzy. You're taking, you're taking up an impossible ask. No, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got this. What about the Fire Type Pokemon from Sword and Shield that doesn't have to be on two legs? Listen, Pokemon makes a lot of questionable choices. All right. Here we go. I'm going to make a good-looking bunny Pokemon that people aren't going to want to fuck. <laughs> already off to the greatest start. Already, already I have made the most unfuckable Pokemon. Um, so Lot Bunny has these big old eyebrows, but you're gonna, you know what's going to want to make these people fuck this Pokemon less? Is if it's more angry. And that's actually a canon thing about Lop Bunny, is um, they start being very angry at you. Lop Bunnies fucking hate you. I'll give a little nose. All right. We also know they're big and fluffy. So all we have to do is just make the body like a fucking Wooloo. You just make it look like the other bunny. As someone who has plenty of furry friends, you cannot make a lot bunny. No, it's sexy. Oh, don't worry. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So you just you just make the body like this, like a wooloo, right? But then it's got a kick with very powerful legs. So then we do this. We give it very powerful legs. But little bunny feet. Because, again, it's a fucking, it's a bunny. 
very powerful legs. Um, and Lot Bunny's kind of got some design on their legs, so it's kind of like this. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Would we'll use the wool to mask the face and then smash. There's to be a fan club for Lot Bunny. Like there's um a cannon club to simp Machoke, and I am not kidding. <laughs> Very powerful legs. I thought you were trying to make unsexy law bunny. I am. I am making unsexy law bunny. Trust me. This is as unsexy as it gets in the law bunny universe. Okay. And then we give it. We give it. It's got little. It's got to have like little, little claw hands. I feel. <laughs> Phoenix, because I don't think you're doing this right. How would you fix a Vaporeon? Vipor Vaporeon's fine. Listen, it's the weird people that want to fuck Vaporeon, okay? Now we just got to make its ears real big. Yeah, that's a pretty lot bunny looking ear, right? Or maybe, okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. I'm changing the way lot bunny is, okay. This is a good base, but we're going to we're going to fix this. Hold on. We are going to fix the way this lot bunny turned out. Here we go. We're going to make this so unsexy. <laughs> Why you just adding more lewdness? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Okay, so the ears come up and then they go down. But the ears are going to be this is just looking like the fucking Digimon, but don't worry about that. Don't, don't fucking shush. Everybody shut up. Copyright infringement. Original character do not steal. Um, no copyright infringement is happening here. Because besides, if this was a poke, if this was a Digimon, it would just evolve into something with guns. Um, and it doesn't, so it's fine. <gasps> Wazzy, you know those legs? Then imagine the ass. I don't want to imagine the ass. That's that's exactly the opposite of what we're doing here, trying to make a fucking unlewd law bunny. Okay. And then it's just got just little leggies. And it just swings up and kicks you in the face with these little leggies. There we go. Perfect. What do you think? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Isn't that buddy based on the Playboy Rabbit? I don't know, Snake. I'm not a Pokemon expert, okay? <laughs> I don't want to think about it. That's perfect. There we go. This is the most unsexy lot bunny we can make. All right, let's try it again. Give it a little fluffy hair. And we'll give it a face, but we'll give it the worst face in history. The worse of a face you give it, the more unfuckable it is. <laughs> it looks like the dirt bunny from Gen 5. Oh, um, Dugsbury or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That's a totally unfuckable Pokemon. I've never seen anybody being like, yo, I want to fuck that Digsbury. There's an uncomfortable about a fucking bunny Pokemon. Phoenix goes, we need to get pineapple in here to tell us if we're doing it right. Uh, it's just as five. You want to fuck five of them? Is that what you're saying? Oh, you're saying what gen it's from. Oh, okay. Phoenix says, we need... Um, DV, DV says, I don't think uh, no one wants to do... New, wants to do with its ears. Listen. This is the perfect Pokemon. This is the perfect unsexy Pokemon in the entire world. If you showed this to Markiplier, he would say pass. Imagine, okay, here's here's my thoughts, okay? So Markiplier does a it's smash. It's time to bingle. 
Don't fucking pinkle me. I'm a little guy. Um, Rita goes, bro, I will fuck anything to prove someone wrong. And she goes, I do not appreciate the accusation, uh, you little legophobe. I don't know what that means. Snake says, don't worry, game theory will figure out a way to make it for Markiplier. See, this is this is the thing. So Markiplier's like, these are the Pokemon I'd fuck. And game theory goes, ah, oh, don't worry, Markiplier, here, I've made the most fuckable Pokemon for you. But just imagine if it was the other way around and you were just like, here's a Pokemon I would fuck. And somebody's like, here, I will make the most unfuckable Pokemon for you. This is this, based on all your credentials of Pokemon that I've been witnessing. These are the Pokemon that I think you wouldn't fuck. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro, for making me the most unfuckable Pokemon. True bros make each other's bros uh, Pokemon that they can't fuck. <laughs> DVD Wing goes, that means they are afraid of Legos. <laughs> uh, Frostbeard says, there's a rule of 34 of Diggersbury, so people are already horny for it. There is one Pokemon without a rule of 34. Which is it? Tell me which one it is. I need to know which Pokemon everybody finds unfuckable. Sourlight says, Wazzy, the internet can make sidewalk gum submissive and breedable. Just give up. Sourlight, can you fucking phrase that any other way? Can you fucking... In any way... No, you can make Missy No fuckable. Missy No is tr is totally fuckable. I can prove to you that Missy No is fuckable. It can't be Missy No. Krieger is, okay, I'm not actually, or, okay, no, that actually is just Toxapex. <laughs> Radio goes, it either is Magikarp or Phoebus. No, it can't be Magikarp. People would fuck Magikarp. Well, it says there is rule 34 missing. No, see, I told you. <laughs> and she goes, Christ, we don't need this from a woman who ludes Ferris wheels. Listen, you, I am an innocent bystander in all of this. Okay. I'm just out here. I take art requests. Okay. You think I would draw this if somebody hadn't said you should draw this? You think I come up with this shit on my own? I'm an innocent party in all of this. If anything, I deserve a reward for all the trauma I've been through. Like a Kit Kat or something. <laughs> the Trash Bag Pokemon's evolutionary line. Pyko goes, Porygon? Phoenix says, I think you just started drawing these on your own. I didn't, though. Rita says, I'm sorry, you looted what? Kakashi says, I'm pretty sure nobody asked you to draw this. I'm pretty sure you started drawing this. No, I didn't. People asked. I was asked for the most unfuckable law bunny, and you know what? You're getting the most unfuckable law bunny. There you go. Here is your unfuckable law bunny. Enjoy. Enjoy not fucking this, everybody. Enjoy just looking at it, being like, wow, that's a lot, Bunny, all right. Enjoy it. Look it. There we go. Most unfuckable Pokemon there is. Nothing fuckable about our beautiful lot, Bunny, here. All right? It's just a little fucked up guy. <laughs> Phoenix says, I don't know. I'm kind of tired. Me too, man. I am so fucking tired. I am having trouble reading the screen. That's how fucked up I am. Kakashi says, I'm pretty sure you just started trying to improve Pokemon and started drawing this. Nobody asked for this. Are you okay? Do you need to talk? Phoenix says, I'm going to name them Scene. Radio says, what do those ears do? Lel says, I'll ask my friend David if he would still smash this lot bunny. Listen, this is totally unfuckable. Totally your tiredness on how you can't read chat. No, this time, I, I'll, I'll admit, 98% of the ch time when I can't read chat, that's because I'm fucking, I can't read. I'm Jared19, never learned how to fucking read. Today, however, I'm fucking jet lagged to all hell. 
I looked up, I looked up jet lag sy symptoms and I was like, this doesn't sound right. And it's like, it's worse when you go, um, when you go east. And I was like, but I, or when you go to west. And I was like, but I didn't go west or some shit. I can't remember what it said, but I remember it was like, hey, it won't be that fucked up. And then I was like, oh, okay. And, but then Matt told me we went the other way around the world and I was fucked up. Um, anyway, I was supposed to be drawing a buddy with two wheels. So, you know what I, I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of, you know how you have those little strings that are little ducks and you pull them and then they kind of like flap around as they go along? Um, that, but a bunny. Sarah Lett says, if All Might was a Pokemon trainer. If All Might was a Pokemon trainer, he would have um, Braviary. We all know this. Radio says, I'm here to catch a legendary. <laughs> uh, if I was an actual Pokemon trainer, knowing my luck, I would have no legendaries at all. I'd have negative legendaries. And, and just to rub it in my, in my face, all my friends would have a legendary Pokemon, like at least one. Like out of like all my friends, everyone would have at least one. And he'd be like, ah, oh, well, look, Wazzy, I caught a Zapdos the other day. Isn't it cool? And I'd be like, yeah, you fucking motherfucker. I'd be sitting over here with my Trubbish. It'd just be me and fucking Trubbish. And every time I tried to catch another Pokemon, I would fucking fail. DVD Wing says, frankly, I'm curious what kind of job with you have in the Pokemon world. What kind of job would I have in the Pokemon world? Um, I'd probably still be an animator. At the end of the day, I feel like I would still be an animator. And, um... I just, I just make animations. I'd make more animations about Pokemon, probably. <laughs> Rita says, uh, "What is a shiny?" I only got one at a weird geometric Pokemon game. Man, I love shinies. I would also have no shinies if Pokemon were real. My luck doesn't work like that. <laughs> Law says, "If Wazzy was a Pokemon trader, you would only have shinies. I would have no shinies. I have no, I have no luck." What are the jobs in Pokemon? I assume the jobs in Pokemon are a lot like real life, but like there's a little bit extra. Like there would be like, I don't know, Pokemon breeder where you just like somebody's like, hey, here's my fucking, can you take care of my little fucking bell sprout or something? And you're like, sure. And then you put it in a cage with a ditto and then the kid comes back and you're like, oh, somehow this egg got here when you had to witness to Bellsprout's fucking earlier. <laughs> Is there cartoons in the world of Pokemon? I would imagine. Like, what do you do from the ages of 1 to 10 before you start your Pokemon adventure? Like, do you just sit there and watch Pokemon battles on TV all day? No, there's got to be some kind of entertainment that's, like, more than just, like watching Pokemon battles. <laughs> Ditto on a hatchering. Oh no. Six is realizing what would you do with the power of all of one for all? Nothing good. I can imagine. Uh I don't think I'm very uh I would listen, I'm just gonna say if there were voices in my head um, and they were like, Hey, we're your past lives. Um, you should do, you should be better. I don't think I would listen to them. As a kid in Pokemon, you go to school. Yeah. Mm, but do they? Cause like, as soon as you're 10, you get kicked the fuck out and got to go to fucking. I mean, this is the only game where they're like, hey, also, also, you should go to school. The newest game is the only time they've been like, yo, school is important. Other than this, Pokemon's been kind of anti-school.
Dr. Earl says, yes, there's cartoons in the Pokemon universe. There's an episode where Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar were watching cartoons. Oh, when Ash and Pikachu died. Yeah. Snake says, I imagine you accidentally activate the ability while opening the fridge. Uh, not only ripping off the door, but hurting your hand in the process. <laughs> uh. I'm so exhausted. I've done my one thing for a day and I'm so tired. That's why I'm drawing really good. I will get over my jet lake shortly, I promise you guys. I promise I will be ready by Sunday. I will be so good at streaming by Sunday, I promise. This is just my shitty foray back into the world of streaming. <laughs> Mr. Dirtbones is here. Hello, Dirtbones. Yeah, I'm just... If, if, if I was in the Pokemon world, I would probably still be an animator. Um, yeah. <laughs> Six says, hopefully by Sunday you're prepared for my tonkatsu questions. God damn it. Third point says, I got grilled sheep and soap. Definitely help get outside more often. I am, am I having a stroke? I can't read anything on this screen right now. I feel, I can't, I feel like I can't read and I don't know if you guys are doing this on purpose. Hi, is here. Says, yo, I just hopped on uh, because I realized I've not been getting on streams for a while. That's okay. Hi. Hello. I missed you. <laughs> uh, I'm barely alive. Bernie says, here, let's help. God damn it, Bernie, don't do that. See, that at least I know is fake. But if you were like, put spaces in between, <laughs> then I would be like, hmm. Uh, what other jobs are there in the Pokemon world? Um, I guess... I guess there is um cop um radio says oh fuck I'm not reading that radio I'm not reading that uh, <laughs> DVD says doctor ranger coffee store teacher yeah there we go um Just general guy who stands around in the gym. You can't forget that there's guys who stand around in the gym. Also, thank you for hydrate. I will do that right now. I'd rather live in the Digimon universe than the Pokemon universe. The Digimon universe is just our regular universe, but sometimes you go to the digital world and it's all right. Nurse, scientist, you're right on that. Um, Team Rocket member casino guy there's the guy that stands at the casino and gives you a dratini so there's like casino guy i mean being moist critical is a pokemon job uh oh yeah trainers have jobs too that's yeah that's also true snowboarding Starlet says the villains get their ass kicked by a 12 year olds. I mean, that happens all the time. Hi says stream is being super lagging behind. I'm going to refresh to see if that fixes it. Is it on my end? It might be on my end. I don't know how to run my own streams again, guys. Listen, listen, hear, hear me out. I am tired. I am jet lagged. There's a man building a garage outside of my house. I don't know if you guys can hear that banging in the background, but I definitely can. Um, I had other very important points, but I can't remember what they were. But uh, imagine that they were impressive. <laughs> um, DVD Week says, sorry, I mean Pokemon gym leaders. Starlight says, very sleepy. I'm going to sleep now. Bye-bye, everyone. God, I wish that were me. 
<laughs> sleep, Wazzy. It's sleep, stream sleep now. Yeah, you know what? We should have sleepy time after this. I'm going to draw this rabbit, and then we're going to have sleepy time. Then we're going to sit here and have sleepy time. We're going to we're gonna tell bedtime stories. Once upon a time, there was this guy, and he had a get-rich-quick-money sc scheme. All you had to do was get an ice cream machine and a bunch of hot girls and have the hot girls eat the ice cream and then go to twitch.tv and stream the hot girls eating the ice cream and call it an ice cream stream. And then uh, you would get all the money. So the guy that invented this got rich real quick. But he was real sad because he had no friends. Because the girls who ate his ice cream never wanted to hang out after the stream. They were always too full of ice cream and too tired. So the moral of the story is... I don't know. Um... Ice cream is the the moral of the story is ice cream is delicious. <laughs> uh, give it wings a sleepy time. <laughs> Crush goes. What's your opinion on the Legend of Zelda Switch OLED? I think it looks baller. Lol says after sleepy time, it's fight me in the Denny's parking lot time. It is. Rita says, don't worry, your stream's already put me to sleep. Good. I am boring. I says, once upon a time, there was a worm, and it crawled into a person's mouth and then ate them from the inside out, and it laid eggs in the person's corpse. Isn't that the movie um, Alien? Isn't that essentially the plot of Alien? Once upon a time, there was a little thing, and it crawled inside a guy and laid, a, laid an egg? <laughs> Six says, what's the worst thing that can happen to me to me in the digital world? My Digimon died, but... Uh, I'm got, but coming back to life. You could humans can die in the digital world. Digimon can't die; they just turn into eggs and then come back to life. But humans could totally die in the digital world. I mean, look at Ken's brother. That guy's fucking super dead, and he went to the digital world and fucking died. Like that guy, that guy's super fucking dead. So like, you could die in the digital world. Your Digimon will be fine though. Don't worry about it. And I exploded. Uh, Phoenix goes, Snake, you can eat weird pl um, plant meat. I mean, yeah, yeah that's true. Hi says, mm, false alarm. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to go. Never mind. <laughs> Radio says, I'm dead inside. Ace goes, if you die in the dream, you die in real life. It's the same with the digital world. If you die in the digital world, you die in real life. Ken's brother, whose name I can't remember at this point in time, died in the digital world. I'm Googling it. I'm not being productive today. If anybody thought I was going to be productive today, you are a fucking idiot. That's on you. If you came in here and were like, wow, I can't wait to see Wazzy be productive. Um, because that's obviously not what's going to happen. Um, Ken's brother, Digimon. Wilkins is here. Hello, Wilkins. Hi, sis. If you die in real life, you die in the dream. Oh, shit. Osamu Ichijoji is Ken's deceased older brother. He's about three years older than Ken. He was really intelligent. Da, 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 da. Um... Oh, never mind. He didn't die in the digital world. Ken's brother didn't die in the digital world. My mistake. Ken's brother got hit by a car. He's Ken's brother got fucking isekai'd. Um. So, um. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Ken's brother didn't die in the digital world. He got fucking isekai'd and possibly 
became the villainous in a story somewhere. <laughs> Ace goes, Wasi being productive since when? Radio says, it's 11 uh, 35 for me. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Ken's brother was killed by car chat. TV doing says, actually, Ken's brother was a digi destined. Why did he receive a digi vice? Because uh, it was actually Ken's digi vice. And uh, his brother thought it was for him. You're just so smart. Why did he die in the digital world? Because I thought he died in the digital world. Instead, he just got hit by a car. Ahem. Here, I'm reading from the wiki. I'm reading from Wikimon. There's no way Wikimon would lie to me, right? Um, in August 2000. Well, the like, like the Pokemon movie 2000. <laughs> Well, the brothers were sitting in their room. A dig digivice, which was meant for Ken, came out of Osamu's computer. Osamu, thinking it was meant for him, put the digivice in his desk drawer. While he was away from their room, Ken took the digivice and was transported to the digital world. When Osamu returned, he found Ken holding the digivice. He slapped the device out of his brother's hand and berated Ken for touching his property without his permission, before ordering him to leave the room to allow him to focus on his studies. Upset and envious that his brother had everything while he had nothing, Ken wanted nothing more than for Osamu to disappear. Tragically, not long after, he ended up dying and getting hit by a car. Ken was full of sorrow, thinking his wishes were the reason he died. He dedicated himself to his studies in an attempt to help his parents fill the void caused by his brother's death. Hi, <laughs> Ghost. Did he turn into a vending machine in a dungeon? God, for his sake, I fucking hope not. Guys, I'm going to be real with you. If I... If I was fucking... Isekai'd into another world... And I got turned into a vending machine. I would a hundred percent just dispense with porno mags. That's all. That's all I would do. I would just be like, "Hey, what's up, fucking uh, peasants? Have some, have some huge tittied women." So he goes, "Nothing bad ever happens in the digital world." Uh, no, I'm pretty sure kids died. DVD says, "Well, I'm glad he died. He stopped Ken." Uh, he, to be a Digi Destined. Well, because I'll be honest, Digimon Zero Two is overrated. Cross Wars is a lot more better than it. No, Zero Two was great. Phoenix says, man, his brother sounds like a dick. Well, because I blame Wormmon for this. He probably got a harem or a Digimon or something like that. Or a Digimon harem. DV D Wing says, it's kind of funny that his brother got isekai in a world which already had an isekai. isekai into a world that was already isekai Ace goes, the perfect vending machine, uh, what a life to live. Hi says, wait a sec, the vending machine can only dispense with the person bought before they die. Was he? Well, I've never bought porn from a vending machine. I did buy those mystery boxes while in Japan, and they were full of animal crackers. So I guess the only thing I could dispense was animal crackers and, like, weird soda. What all have I bought from a vending machine? Those animal crackers? Weird soda? Um... He says, show me one human who died in the digital world. That girl from season three, didn't she fucking die in the digital world? I'm pretty sure people have died in the digital world. People who died in the digital world. We're not getting any work done. Death in a digital world. Oh, wait, though, that's an actual little thing. In the digital world. Wait, I should probably specify Digimon. Because it's giving me real... It's giving me real facts. Vedamon's Assault Force. Wizardmon died, but he died in the real world. Oh, oh, wait, no, 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 no. Um, the dude who died in the digital world, that fucking, that fucking guy that gave Ken the dark spore, you know, um, fucking, what's his name? Uh, Oikawa, or whatever his name was. You know, this guy, I'll draw him. This guy. This guy died in the digital world. 
Mm. And he had a face like this, and he had a big jacket that was purple. And he was like nine feet tall. You know, that guy. He died in the fucking digital world. Well, because I bought a toy from a vending machine. I first said, I uh, did it not say that a vending machine only bought in, in general. I mean, you were asking a lot of questions for, to a very sleepy guy. Dr. Earl goes, that villain dude at the end of the Zero Two died right after he got his Digimon. Yeah. Wilkins says, I don't see a bunch of humans die in the OG adventure. Wilkins says, they were killed by the Dark Master's minions and were made the Digimon, the Digidestins. Bertie goes, Sephiroth? No, this is a different guy. Uh, man, I got to bring it up. I got to bring it up. You guys won't believe me unless I show you. Um, that's not him. That's a guy from a sports anime. This man. This fucking man. I'll show you. I'll show you. This man. This fucking guy. Do we got a better picture of him? Nope. We've only got like 1080p or like 180p. That's fine. That's fine. This man. See? Exactly like the photo. See? I should become a sketch artist for the police. I'm... I... Listen. Listen. I should become a sketch artist from the police. <laughs> that's... That's fucking... <laughs> tell me about... Tell me about the dude who died in the digital world. Well, okay, he had like a face like this. And he was frowning all the time. Like th this guy. <laughs> Clearly, he's a Digimon. Look at his skin color. It's great. Um, he was fucking possessed by, um, what's that guy's name? My Otis Mod at the point in time? So, yeah. So, you know what? I'm fucking, I'm becoming a police sketch artist. <laughs> My first says, Digimon Fusion being removed from Netflix is a crime against humanity. I don't think it was ever on Canadian Netflix. I don't even know what's on Canadian Netflix anymore. They put the whole, this is not your home internet thing on it. Um, hmm. Anyway, here's a list of death in Digimon. Are you guys ready? Parrotmon. Rest... Destroyed by the Red Greymon with a powerful Nova Flame. Uh, Red Greymon. He used up all his power to destroy Parrotmon. Seedramon. He was killed by Garurumon. Lord Bakimon. He was destroyed by Bird Bergermon. Devamon. He was destroyed by Angemon. Angemon. He used up all his power to destroy Devimon. Kokatorimon was destroyed when his ship crashed into a cactus and exploded while chasing the Digidestined. Kawugamon, destroyed by Pixiemon with the Pixie Bomb. It doesn't say Edamon. Fuck, I remember Edamon. Uh, it doesn't say any human names. Any humans. Watch your profanity. Don't put a swear timer on me. Um, Piedmon, yeah, that guy sucked. Um, Black War Greymon died. Yeah, it said this guy, this guy died. This guy died in the digital world, so it works. <laughs> Greymon wasn't ready, he was orange. In the, in the movie. I bet, in, um, Angel Mon could take him. Hi, goes, Wazzy, there's this thing called NordVPN. Listen, we're not sponsored. Hi, hi, you need to shut up. We're not sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> he says, he's the uncle of one of the small Digi Destined, right? No, I don't think so. I think he was just a weird old man. I think he's just a weird old... I, I, yeah. I think he's just a weird... I just think he's a weird old guy. Look, it says, um... The movie was slightly darker shade of orange. Ace goes, we sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Listen, I don't want to say, guess who I was contacted by? 
Uh, people working for Genshin Impact. I don't think I'm going to get it because I set my rate too high. Um, but people working for Genshin Impact uh, fucking sent me a thing while I was in Japan. So, like, they were on a very tight limit, so I'm not going to get it. And I set my rate too high, but whatever. I'm an animator. I'm not going to do a 10-minute video of animation of Genshin Impact. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Phoenix goes, remember when Leomon died? I do. I don't because I didn't fucking watch that season. I didn't watch season three. Fuck season three. All right. <laughs> Ace goes, ah, no more steal money game. <laughs> Luca goes, don't you work for Genshin Impact? No, I don't. No, we sponsored by InJoke, that one joke cereal brand Wazzy made once. I made a lot of joke cereals. You mean Naruto's? <laughs> We're spon we're sponsored by by fucking milf balls. Well, see, did you already have a ten minute video on Get Your Impact? I don't think so. Submissive and cheesable was my favorite. Darkness. Oh no, it's yeah. Darkness Shadow Myth. No, Infiltration Darkness Myth. That's the name. No, like the one with the, yeah. That's submissive and cheesable was the cereal. I think. Because Milf and Cheese was the craft dinner. And then Submissive and Cheesable, I think, was the breakfast. And he goes, I'm sponsored by the Dinky Foundation. <laughs> Alright, guys. I've been streaming for two hours. I'm going to go have a little nap. Uh, before I got to go kick Frostbeard's ass in a Denny's parking lot. Um, I did two whole art requests. Let's go through them. Um, here's my police sketch artist. Here's a rabbit with two wheels. So happy Easter. Here's a totally unfuckable lop bunny. The most unfuckable lop bunny there is. Look at it. Look at it. Um, here's some old other old, totally unfuckable Pokemon. Uh, don't bonk me. Uh, here's me sleeping on the floor in an airport. Eh. And, uh, and here's Blaze the Cat from memory. Um, which is totally accurate. Yeah, which is totally 100% accurate. <laughs> I've never seen a more accurate thing. Anyway, thank you, everybody. Um, it's good to be back. Next stream will be better because I won't be as fucking exhausted. Um, we'll talk about Japan and give away a prize ne on Sunday. And, um, yeah, that's been our fucking stream. Let's go find somebody to raid. Uh, for those of you that didn't get your art done, I will put it up in the Discord uh, or refund your points. Um, those who did get your art done, I'll put it up in the Discord. I don't know how things work here anymore. Um, I'm sorry if the stream was laggy. Um, fucking, oh God, I have so many friends that are alive right now. Oh, Jesus titties. Who haven't I fucking raided in a long time? Oh God. Well, you know what? British Trash Band is live. I haven't rated British Trash Panda in a while, I don't think. Um, they're playing Resident Evil. Uh, so let's go fucking do that. All right, I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you. Um, bitch, we're back. Um, fuck yeah. Um, until next time, don't forget to kick names and take ass, and I will see you in a bit. I'm going to go fucking sleep. Get out of my fucking house.